Oh, look at the cute squirrel. Damn, I gotta chase me. Dude, that little sucker's cute. something inspirational we're gonna take some salt water we're gonna actually turn it into something that you can use to fly to the moon we're gonna put it inside some dry ice inside a cannon and we're gonna launch it into space and then we actually might fly a quadcopter at some point during the day well, the mud actually what, what is what is look there's a freaking there's a sea squirrel chilling in that little hey, green patch right there hello mr. sea squirrel I think every time a sea squirrel I, lives I think we need to do uh, sea squirrel. Test. I reckon we've actually got a new species of squirrel here I agree. that only exists in this cove is that another sea I squirrel? I think we found the name yeah. of this episode look at that sea squirrels have actually managed to adapt to their surroundings and get the same color as the rock face which is completely different to any other form of squirrel so that they're almost impossible to see a little, su little sucker's just chewing away. He's flipping the bird at you right now. So the goal at the end of the day is to figure out if we've discovered a new style of squirrel and... Teach him to fly quads. And teach them to fly quads. Or at least deliver him a mini pizza. getting those movie shots and getting some really cool shots over the water and down the cliff once or stuff so it's a really really picturesque spot it's gonna be something where I'm flying cinematically I mean I'm, I am gonna dive as many things as I can but hopefully I won't have to run out in the ocean and retrieve my car Busted in on a wedding. Um, yeah, so my quad's not flying very well. I looked at the motor bell, the little ring had slipped. My rear left motor and my front right motor pushing, sliding the rings down so that they touch the bottom part of the motor and it causes friction, which in turn causes the motor to be underpowered and which causes the quad to fly like shit. I decided to run back to the car and put our validation sticker that we didn't put on the dash on the dash so that we don't get towed. Watch, you have to hit this unlock like 68 times. The trunk's still not unlocked. There we go. Throw my crap in here. Sea squirrels are us. Solid as hell. Are you watching my video feed? 
if he's done flipped upside down, he's falling right down this rock face right there, right into the poop. Right into that there white poop on that wall. He's looking at it. Oh, he's inspecting it. Taking it for a run. Yep, there he goes. Now he's done just flying all along the poop. He's going out to the sea. Diving in high. Going to come right across the shoreline. There's a bunch of people up there. I think they don't know what the is happening either because Chad is literally like in their face. <laughs> I would not recommend doing that anymore. <laughs> ah! Dude, see if you can uh, draw out those sea squirrels. Uh, right, right in there. I don't see any sea squirrels. Oh, oh, I thought that was one. Dude, you were all up in those sea squirrels' nests. You're gonna fail safe right onto a sea squirrel. <laughs> Dude, this thing's flying so good. Oh god, oh god. I'm gonna be facing that way next time. That's yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> you like pulling your goggles off, looking into the sun? Yeah, that was a smart that was a smart choice, wasn't it? <laughs> well, another random location down. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks very much, guys. We've got to get back to the car. Prepare for our next shoot tomorrow. Cheers, guys. And I feel like the 5 are coming in hot. I can't even explain what the hell that is, but it is something and it's fast and blinky and it's going over real quick. So let's get to what we're gonna do and we'll do it real fast, okay? <laughs>